What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So round one of Grand Arena 3v3 is in the books. So what you gonna do now? Well, let's have a real good show and let's talk about it. So I'm gonna start something new called What You Putting On D. So let's get into it. So I'm in Division 4. Rank number 8. That fluctuates all the time. So if you're in my division all the way to Division 11, this might be pretty helpful because you're going to see what teams you're going to come up against, you know, some good ideas you're going to put on defense. Hopefully we can get a helpful comment thread going with more tips and more sneaky teams people are putting on D. If you're in Division 3 watching the show, awesome. Uh, comment below, what kind of GLs are you seeing in Division 3? What kind of squads are you seeing? So before we press that enter button right there, I've been watching some amazing content on Round uh, 1. Um, War Game Commander, shout out. He's in the description. Check his channel out. He's making some awesome content. Then some new cat. Um, this kid with bad ideas or something like that. Hope he sees the channel and comments, puts his links in. He has a new GAC where he only had like one squad on defense. That was so cool to see. All right, let's get into it. So round one, we fought someone called Double O Lucas. Let's take a look at his roster so you can kind of see what he's working with. So looking at his squad with Thrawn there, I can tell he's got some hot garbage. So we're not even going to go there. But we'll look, take a look at his inventory. So he did not set full defense. So he had all these relics to work with. So he's got Thrawn. We're going to do a little shout out. He has the second fastest Thrawn in our shard compared to me. So when you get up from divisions um, 11, 10, 9, whatever, um, this is pretty quick. 323. Mine's 325. So that's pretty fast. Got Vader, of course, Emperor Palpatine, both full Relic 7s, Darth Revan. I take great pride in beating teams with Darth Revan. Look at that Bastla Sean, Darth Nihilus. Look at all these Relic 7s he has. Darth Sidious, you know, he's going for a Sith Eternal Emperor. Admiral Peepy, -Pee. Darth Treya, Darth Scion, that's awesome. He is sick. Uh, Count Duke of Relic, that's really cool. I like how he dances around. No Relic, JKR, or Relic Commander Luke Skywalker. Hmm. Sith Marauder. Ah, gets underestimated. Hits like HK. So he's got those Imps. Darth Maul Relic. That's really cool. Royal Guard. Definitely going for Sith Eternal Emperor. Oh, that hurts. Not even seeing a Relic. Grandmaster Yoda. Not showing any love to Yoda. Wow. All right. Let's go out and check out the D. What we putting on D? Let's go. Let's get that review. All right, you see the score. So we forgot to set a bunch of teams on defense. We're not hating. It's all good. We all do it. I've done it. So up top, let's talk about it. So I'm using IG-11, Queel, and R2-D2. I know it's weird, but it always gets hold. I've seen it get uh, four the most, but usually always two, um, usually three. I think because IG-11 is a thick boy, he's almost relic. I can usually just push that, push that button for relic, but I don't want to raise my galactic power that high yet. So he's thick boy. He taunts in the beginning of the game. He can give evasion. Um, Quill's pretty quick. Gives turn meter. R2-D2 can stun, stealth, also give evasion. He burns, Quill burns. So I would think that's a pretty nasty little team. Uh, I'm hoping one day someone will do a stream of beating me one day. And I can see, and that'd be really cool. All right. In the middle, you got GG, who's always on defense. So there are several different combinations of this squad. Comment below what gets good holds for you. Um, I was using B1 and B2, but GG would always get marked by JKR and easily taken out. So this team, Magna Guard Stealth, um, by the time they get rid of the Taunt or he unstealth, 
Joydica is going to do that rolly thing and stack offense. And so hopefully it's a big hit and takes somebody out or takes away a lot of banners. That's what this team is, the banner stealers. So that's great for defense to have, guys. Good tip is to have banner stealers. It got two holds. So that's cool. So just these two battles is five, five squads. Then he took out the Bears. That's okay. I just like when they get a hold. If they do, it makes me smile. That's cool. All right, let's go below what we putting on D. Like I said, guys, comment below what kind of sneaky teams are you using, what kind of holds are you getting. If you have any um, tips on the teams that you see that I'm using that can make it better, please let me know. All right, you got Bass LaShawn, old Ben. He's awesome. He needs a rework. Then you got Snips. So Bass LaShawn gets protection up. Old Ben taunts. He's annoying. He can do ability block. Uh, when he dies, he gets buffed to the team. You know, Snip, she can take away buffs with her basic. So pretty nasty little squad. You know, I I always have in-game chats with people I'm playing with and ask them. They say yes, they had to use pretty good little B team. Either good B team or low A team. Then you got Newt below. You know, I'm new to this squad. First time I put it on defense because I wanted to run the GG squad that I did. And I put Dooku with Emperor Palpatine. So I was hoping he was going to get a hold, but um, I tried to reach out to Double O Lucas, but he declined my chat. First time ever. How rude. So I wanted to see what he used against it, but that's what I had up front. So I tried to do tricky teams up front, like I did up top, got the holds, maybe try to get some underestimations. You know, they have to use a team, they underestimate, they lose, and they gotta use a really good team. So by the time they get to the back wall, they can't get it done. But I think he just gave up because he knew he was gonna lose. He just stopped attacking. So I never do that. I always try to get practice. You got Bosk. Boss always gets taken out, but I think he just always requires a good B team. I'm just trying to do team for team. When you get to division four and higher, it's team for team. How many banners can you steal? And then try to get that lucky hold. All right. So you got Emperor Palpatine. I've used this before in the past. It's gotten multiple holds. I reached out to in-game chat. Um, they said that they had to use a, a high relic JKR squad to beat this team. One guy was telling me that, uh, he got really upset over it. Uh, he thought it was going to be easy and it didn't work. Because this team, they can shock Stun, Dooku Stealth, uh, Basla Sean Fallen is an amazing tune. She gives um, evasion as Sith Apprentice. She gives evasion up to the lead, uh, extra potency, defense. So this is a nasty little squad. Definitely requires them to use a low A team. Then you have CLS on D. First time I've used them on D. You know CLS, he's amazing. Um, he the whole team counters. So Chupio is really fast. I have him modded for speed. He has like 294 speed. So he's going to go pretty quickly. He's going to give out uh, blind. So it's basically like you're not going to get a turn. You, you got to wait because everyone's going to miss. <coughs> Excuse me. And you got C3 Pio puts out Expose. Commander Luke Skywalker and Chupio work together. They kind of give each other more offense. So CLS hits like a ton of bricks. And then you have um, Wat Tambor, or not Wat Tambor, but uh, Brood Alpha. I use Sunfact for a double taunt because Sunfact can also blind. So right here. This spiteful strike. Stagger them for two turns. If the target w was already debuffed before this attack, also blind and daze them for two turns. And I like the extra taunt to try to keep it away from Spy. So that does pretty well. So if you're new coming up in the ranks, make sure you have the Geos. I mean, this is how you get Watt Tambor. Watt Tambor is the best plug and play tune. All right. So let's go. Should we look at my defense? No. It's pretty trashy. I don't know if you want to see it or not. All right. Come on. Let's take a look at it. You see it there. Mace Windu. Not even geared up. You see him. And then with the rest of the 501st, Boba Fett, and some trash in the reinforcements. I don't mind if you take my up top. 
I just try to hold the bottom. If you hold the bottom and they, um, it, you just get more points from the bottom. All right. So that's what I put on D. Like I said, comment below. What did you put on defense? How did your round one go? Did you get the win? So if you enjoyed the show, hit that like button. Let's all sub and grow together. Until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.